Dear students of grade 9 welcome back to my English class once again uh, students in today's class uh, it's unit number 17 that we are going to discuss here it's a global warming and climate change as uh, students uh, in today's class uh, we will discuss about its reading part first uh, before reading part first uh, we have some pictures given students uh, that we will discuss first so here we start the picture getting started here students uh, look at the pictures and discuss the causes and consequences of global warming and climate change uh, students so you have to identify and you have to discuss about these picture and uh, then you have to find out the causes and consequences of global warming the first students you must know what is global warming a global warming student is all about sudden rise in the temperature of the earth is the global warming as students you know this causes because of the human activities against the globe you know, against the nature you know there are many activities of human that human have been doing since uh, you know for many many times and for their needs you know for their uh, uh, invention and there are so many activities uh, that human are doing against the nature this is uh, because of this causes the uh, global warming and uh, and this is uh, and the sudden rise in temperature happens over there and uh, this is all about your global warming students uh, it's a text uh, here we have uh, pictures here first pictures we can see <coughs> Uh, what do you see in the first picture as we can see clearly it's uh i know you can see a polar bear is standing on uh, ice you know and uh, on the other side we can see a water level is rising and it means the snow is melting in the first picture and because of the global warming and the level of water is rising the students so this is the level of water rising because of the global warming this is what we see in the first picture and uh you know, uh, in the second picture, students, there are some patches of uh, ice is remaining uh, in the mountain, and uh, some of the others, uh, they, you know, patches, snow patches are melting. You know, have been have melted because of the global warming. So it means because of the rise in temperature, and some patches of the snow are remaining here, and other are you know, melting. Ah. Uh, in the last picture we can see it's a uh, you can see a flood uh, yes uh, of course it's a flood students it's taking away everything uh, trees and all and this is because of again human activities uh, students uh, this is a natural disaster we can see here in this picture and this is also because of the global warming and the uh, uh, human uh, activities against the nature uh, students, so it's all about the pictures here we, that we have discussed about the global warming and its consequences. Now, reading for students, uh, again we have uh, questions, again we have uh, answered the following question. The first one, what is the name of your favorite movie? And the second, what sort of movie is it? And uh, what do you like about the movie? What are its weakness? Uh, students here, you have to tell about the you tell about your favorite movie uh, what is that you have to you know call that movie and uh, what type of movie it was then uh, uh, do, you, do you like that movie or what are those you know what are its uh, weakness uh, students if i have to say about my favorite movie uh, it's uh, titanic the sinking of titanic english movie students uh, very uh, you know hit movie of Hollywood and it's a love story it's a movie about a love story and the site in the sinking of the Titanic Titanic you know big gigantic ship it was and uh, I you know I like most about its song you know the movie in the in the songs in that movie I really liked the most and there I found no weakness about the movie students it was the movie you know it was a heart touching movie and uh, that's what I like about that. As students, uh, it's all about your reading first uh, question and answer. Now move to the text.
Yes, uh, students. Uh, before moving to text again, we have a picture here. Uh, it's a picture of Arctic zone, students, where we can see snow all around, snow mountains all around throughout the year. It means this picture shows, uh, you know, the region that belongs to the Arctic. In today's uh, class, uh, now we will do the review of a movie that is. Uh, chasing ice so students so this is the movie that uh, which we are going to uh, have a review of this movie and the title of title is chasing ice the name of the movie and genre is the documentary or biography you know it's a documentary one a language the movie is in english language and director of the movie is jeff it's orlowski and the producer is jerry aronson paule dupre and passman jeff uh, Orlowski, they are the directors and uh, producers and writer is Mark Mornovi and release date uh, it was released on August 10, 2016 and run time means the length of the movie is 1 hour and 14 minutes and uh, this movie is produced by the Diamond Dark it's exposure it's uh, a company the movie company name of the movie company so these are some points students so uh, these are uh, we need to review the movie and these are the important points if we have to uh, you know do the review of any movie then we need these uh, you know these points now move to the text in the first paragraph uh, here we start the first paragraph in the wake of hurricane sandy the power and unpredictability means uncertain of nature and the ever-changing weather pattern have become increasingly apparent our students it's uh, in the wake of hurricane sandy means it's a uh, uh, hurricane sandy is uh, uh, we can see it's a storm you know big storm it's a natural disaster is that is a natural disaster is you know so powerful and uh, it was uh, it is unpredictable and it was uncertain and that we cannot predict uh, before these natural disasters come it means uh, all the natural disasters that you know these are the unpredictable and these are uncertain that we cannot predict before it comes as topics such as weather as and global warming become increasingly prevalent means it's widespread in today's culture gems blocks documentary changing eyes provide striking image of how climate change has caused glacial erosion our students in today's culture we can you know, you know our main problem and our main issue is global warming everywhere uh, we talk about global warming in today's culture and uh, James Vlogs documentary changing eyes provides striking image of how culture changes the cause. Yes, students in Balog's documentary in this film, Balog has provided the real and the striking image of uh, how global warming is uh, increasing in nowadays and uh, how global warming has an impact on the earth and uh, this causes uh, the ice of erosion you know, glacial erosion means students uh, it's a uh, ice of the erosion in you know, ice erosion means it's similar to the soil erosion the award-winning movie which opens in los angeles on november 23rd reached the journey of environmental photograph balog as attempts to capture the erosions of glaciers in the arctic through photographs and videos this movie was uh, released in students los angeles is a place in usa and this movie the winning movie and this was a award-winning movie and that was released in los angeles on november 23rd and uh, this movie is a journey and a journey about uh, environmental photographer that is balog you know balog is the uh, you know photographer of this uh, movie and he had a journey and a long journey about the environmental uh, you know uh, erosion glacial erosion and he tries he attempts uh, to capture the uh, real photograph and real footage of glacial erosion in arctic zone this means he tries too much uh, to capture the video of the uh, ice erosion in those area and for that he had a long journey
in order to accomplish means uh, it's achieve this goal uh, balog started his own project and uh, dubbed it in the extreme i survey uh, students in order to finish uh, this project uh, this goal and his target uh, balog started his own project and where he made a uh, extreme ice survey over there this endeavor means this attempt to begin as project for national geographic and turn out to reach a broader scope by tackling the problem of uh, glacial erosion initially this project was only for geography national geographic and later on it became famous for a you know, survey and then it became you know famous and uh, it started helping the problem of the ice erosion uh, students so it's all about so if you, you know in the, uh, this paragraph number second where uh, it was blog had a journey where he made a journey to capture the videos and photograph of ice erosion in the arctic zone and for that he started uh, his own project and uh, this project initially uh, was for the national geography and later on it became fruitful and helpful uh, so you know in order to solving the problem of ice erosion this is what we uh, you know read in the second paragraph now max uh, ne now move to the next paragraph a uh, balog survey began with a total of 25 cameras that were to be monitored over the course of 3 years uh, for that project students uh, to in order to have the survey balog began be, 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 uh, uh, balog started with the 25 cameras and from he uh, set up 25 cameras over there in the in those arctic zones uh, in order to capture the footage of ice uh, erosion and uh, for that students uh, it took uh, him three years and uh, it means uh, over the course of three years uh, he started doing all these and uh, the camera were housed in protected units in order to prevent their destruction in the harsh arctic weather and balogs team periodically uh, downloaded the footage uh, students uh, the camera were protected or a uh, camera was set up in such a way so that they could not they could not be destroyed by that bad weather in a you know, very dangerous weather it's a harsh arctic weather means very dangerous weather and the cameras were put in safe places so that those camera could not be destroyed by this harsh and dangerous weather and uh, balog team they were uh, you know time and again they were uh, monitoring the footage of uh, arctic zones and where they started the time and again they downloaded the footage and videos over there after having photographed glacier in the past balog sees in the film that he wanted to return to some of the same place he had visited to see how the glacier had changed after doing all these project students after having the photograph and the uh, footage of the glaciers uh, in the past velogs again say in the movie that he again wanted to return there into the same place and where he moved to see the glacier you know how they have changed that means uh, velogs uh, uh, velogs is still curious about the glacier erosion and still he want to know more about the glacier erosion this is what he want to see again in the movie after having all these footage and uh, videos he and his team set up camera in you know for those projects and for that he again he his team and uh, he uh, again they set up cameras in greenland some areas like greenland iceland alaska and montana it's a montana's glacier national park as uh, this is how his journey started a movie making journey started and uh, with the, he started with 25 cameras and he started with the, his team and for that uh, it took them three years to complete their project and later after having all these footage and uh, video students then he again realized that he want to uh, he want to build the real place where he want to see that glacier erosion and for that he again set up a few cameras uh, in some areas like uh, Greenland, Iceland, Alaska and the Montana National Park.
So this is all about this paragraph. Now next one, students. Uh, the documentary is recorded, uh, means recorded, begins with a series of striking and the intense, means enormous, video clips of multiple natural disasters. This film, uh, this film, uh, and we can say documentary, it starts with a multiple series of natural disaster, you know, natural calamities, where there, you know, it shows the enormous video clips of natural disaster. Bellog establishes the global a goal of film from the very beginning by explaining his initial it's a, uh, skepticism, it's a misbelief, you know, misbelief regarding climate change in the academic research on the topic. His uh, this uh, his movie shows first, you know, it starts uh, uh, with the uh, research and the uh, climate change. This on the topic, and you know, basically, this movie starts with the climate change, the ac ac academic research of the uh, this uh, global warming and so uh, ice erosion. Uh, in this line, uh, students, uh, the Balog uh, wants to explain his, uh, you know, his own initial misbelief about the climate change and the research on the topic, and uh, for that he. Uh, started showing initially about his misbelief uh, about the climate change and the research on the topic. This makes Belog more relatable and increases his credibility as a photojournalist who ends up finding evidence for what he once doubted was actually occurring. It really uh, makes Belog more uh, its trustworthiness and it increases his uh, trustworthiness as a photojournalist and uh, who ends up finding proof of what he wants to, you know he had doubt and actually uh, doubt was actually happening there uh, students it's uh, about all about this paragraph this documentary effectively combines data and scientific scientific facts with visually appealing its attractive images that make climate change more real in this movie uh, it is this movie is the combination of uh, scientific logic and uh, you know data and the scientific logic with the attractive images that makes climate change more a real one it means uh, this is the movie where we can uh, we can feel we can imagine the real picture of the climate change that was that you know that were very very attractive and appealing one. Uh, Belog's photographs and time lapse footage of glacier carving or breaking apart into icebergs allow viewers to see and experience what is actually happening in those zones. You know, in Belog's photographs, you know, they they were they were you know they are keep monitoring the glacier erosion and they are having the experience of what is actually happening in those zones and the bigger screen uh, the the bigger the screen the better to be of beautiful image that Balog has captured many of which most people will never have the chance to experience in person Dear yes, students if the screen would be bigger then the we can have a better view of this beautiful image it means the bigger the screen the better would be the view of beautiful these images that Belog has captured and uh, many of the we you know which many of the people they never have you know they have never have a chance to experience all these pictures it means if there is a big screen it means that there can be a good view of the beautiful images the next paragraph Belog has refrained from refrain midst of oneself for overwhelming massive his audience with too many scientific details and makes the data easy to understand he also students stop oneself from the massive of his audience and to overwhelm his audience uh, with too many there are scientific reason and detail that makes data easy to understand him he explains his method and how he interrupts his result without coming across as boring it is hard to watch an avalanche on screen or see the extreme erosion of glacier over a short period of time and not realize that Belog is clearly onto something Yes, students. Uh, uh, he now he interrupts his results without coming 
not as a boring one and it was it's very hard and very tough to see and to, to watch the snow slides on the screen where uh, you know there is extreme extreme soil uh, so ice erosion of glacier in that you know, over a period of time and that uh, that not realize the blog it's clearly onto something in this uh, paragraph students uh, he is talking about uh, uh, that uh, avalanche means uh, it's a snow sliding and it was very difficult it was very hard to see that uh, snow sliding the film also incorporates a sense of extreme lengths that Balog and his team include a glaciologist and a climatologist we are willing to go to capture footage of his glacier erosion in this film they also include a sense of uh, you know it's uh, it contains a sense of extreme length that Balog and his team they also include a uh, it's a glaciologist means students uh, who studies about the glacier and the climate uh, climatologist means who studies about the climate they also included uh, these two researchers and uh, where they also wish to capture the footage of the glacier ice erosion there are scenes in which Bello cries out in disappointment when some cameras are not working and other moment he when he puts himself in quiet it's a pre Curious, it's an insecure position as he descends into hole and caves of ice in order to get the best shoot. Uh, during this project, uh, some of the cameras they didn't work, and uh, so the Balog he started crying out, and he was in disappointed. He was very disappointed after their camera. Some of the camera didn't work there, and for that himself he was very. Uh, he felt the insecure position and then he uh, kept himself into the hole and the caves from where he could uh, took the he could uh, take the uh, best best shoot from there and this is what happened during that uh, project uh, with the balog uh, students uh, now move to the next one not to mention the knee surgery that threatened to keep him ice uh, from ice hiking on his journey uh, during his journey students uh, uh, he was uh, having he was under he was having knee surgery and that was uh, uh, his problem and he was afraid of that that he could uh, he could uh, he could have you know he could have faced some problem during the during his journey changing ice is definitely a worthwhile documentary that uh, combines uh, intriguing theories and it's a uh, excuse excuse it means it's a super one it's a uh, images uh, this ice is certainly a worthwhile documentary this and uh, changing ice that move is certainly a, a worthwhile documentary and film that is a combination of extremely interesting theories and the super emojis captured over there these those who are it's a uh, skeptical about theories on the environment might be reluctant to see the film as students those who are uh, who have misbelief about the theory of this environmental they might be uh, they might be unwilling to see the feeling but there is still something to be gained from the biology but there is still some knowledge that uh, we, we can get from the from this biology research biology and his team make viewers think Critically about climate change and what it can mean for our culture. The students, Balog and their team, they really made the viewers to think about this critical situation, these critical issues about global warming and this climate change, and still, and uh, what it can mean for future. And they are also uh, making the people and the viewer to think about their future and uh, what it can be, it can mean for their future. Uh, students so with that uh, it's uh, all about your uh, today's class and uh, it's all about your movie review that is uh, changing eyes is the movie that uh, we did review in, in today's class uh, we uh, talked about global warming and ice erosion and uh, through the documentary and uh, it was a movie it's a winning award-winning movie which was uh, you know released in los angeles u.s uh, students uh, 
and um, it was the movie about the erosion of uh, ices in arctic zone and uh, where a writer uh, tries to uh, you know show the footage and videos through the documentary it's all about today's class students uh, i'll we will discuss its uh, exercise solution in the next video till then students keep watching my videos see you in the next one have a nice day my dear students